The city of Detroit is full of rich history, especially when it comes to music. And what would music be without radio? As we celebrate Black Business Month this August, I want to take you inside Detroit's first black owned radio station. I'm looking for my seventh caller, 298-1075. You listen to them every day and have seen their headquarters on East Jefferson Avenue in the city of Detroit. Hot 1075, you call it number one. WGPR is a black owned radio station owned and operated by the International Free and Accepted Modern Masons. It uh, was purchased in 1964 from the owners then in Gross Point. Uh, hence the call signs were uh, WGPR. Since it was purchased, the call letters WGPR were changed to mean where God's presence radiates, centered around their then format. And our initial uh, radio broadcasting was centered around the black church. I got a chance for you to win a pair of tickets. The formatting changed to mainly R&B, then more recently switching to the hip hop format you hear today. 298-1075, be my seventh caller and the tickets are yours. Over the years, WGPR had a number of different names. The 70s, Golden Soul, and uh, in the 80s it was known as the Rhythm. We became called, uh, going by the name of Hot 1075 in 2011. And today, the station boasts a big roster of on air personalities, including DJ Gifted, Ivan Dior, and Detroit legend Big Greg, all of which can be heard during the station's local programming. Diana, you are my seventh caller, girl. Inside the black owned radio station is a history museum of significant WGPR events and Detroit TV broadcasting royalty. You might even see some familiar faces, like retired WDIV anchor Carmen Harlan. And who could forget the popular show The Scene, hosted by the famous Nat Morris. And from radio... Back in the early days, uh, we had radio personalities such as Butterball Jr. We also had the electrifying mojo. Just to name a few, WGPR can be heard within a 90-mile radius from its Detroit broadcast tower. While a mostly hip-hop radio station today, Hot 107.5 converts to a gospel format on Sundays. One thing that's remained the same since it started is its commitment to the city of Detroit. We want to kind of build up uh, the knowledge that we're here. We're alive and well. We've always been here. We're not going anywhere. We're a homegrown station. Good morning, Hot 107.5. They are a homegrown station. I love listening to them. They've played a number of my music. And here's the thing, WGPR's museum is open to the public for tours during the week. There is a lot more to see there. And until then, you can listen to them every single day on Hot 107.5.